What's going on guys, welcome back, and today, um, before I go on vacation for two weeks, or before I go on holiday for two weeks, I'm gonna try and put in two videos today, and these are comparing some of my Harry Potter minifigures, so, uh, today I'll be comparing my three Dobby minifigures, I did go and get more of the Harry Potter minifigure packs yesterday, so I got Dobby and Voldemort, so I thought why not compare my two Voldemorts and my three Dobby, so I actually have all three versions of Dobby they ever made, and, uh, yeah, so we're going to be comparing these minifigures, and I guess we'll start off with Dobby here. Um, or actually, wait, no, I'll go with the, I'll start with the oldest Dobby. And this is the 2002 Dobby. Now, this one is, uh, as you can tell, very old. It's not a bad minifigure by any means, it's just, it has a lack of detail, but, of course, this is an old figure. And I'm pretty sure this one and the 2010 one use the same head mold. It's... They both have rubbery head molds. All three of them have rubbery head molds, but I feel like this is the same head mold, and, well, this one has, like, indented eyes in it, which makes it look super creepy, like a zombie or something. And, um, but this one, I think, uses a slightly different head mold, if not the same one with a few, um, changes to it. So, yeah, I think it's a very, both have very similar head molds, because as you can tell, they look very similar, but, um, so this is by no means a bad figure, it's just... Compared to today's standards, it looks very creepy, and, uh, yeah, it looks like a zombie, but, you know, it's, you know, it, it is always cool to have these kind of, um, old figures to kind of reminisce, you know, this is what Lego used to look like, this is a really old figure, and I'm happy to have this in my collection, so, Dob the old Dobby is pretty cool, and then we have the 2010 Dobby, which was my only set I got from 2010 or 2011, as you can tell, his eyes have been very scratched out, this is when they started making the flesh color, so he's not completely uh, light tan like that other Dobby. So this one looks slightly better, but the legs are completely light tan, which is not accurate. But he has pretty useful torso printing, and he's a really cool minifigure as well. Happy to have him. And then, the one that I got yesterday, the new newest Dobby, the 2018 Dobby in the minifigure series, I think does look the best. Um, he has a brand new head mold, which I think works the best. He has these nice eyes. I thought it was a uh, plastic, but it is a rubber head mold, just like the other ones. He once again has a useful torso print with the flesh color, and then the the legs is my favorite part, or the legs are my favorite part of this figure because it's the dual molded short legs, the unmovable ones, of course, but the tan and then the skin colored feet at the bottom. So it's, it, these could work for like shorts or a bathing suit or something for like a a kid minifigure. So that would be really cool. And then you just have the uh, Tom Riddle's diary here with um, the stab mark through it for when Harry stabs with the basilisk fang, or the basilisk fang. And then he has a sock in there because I lost the sock print from the 2010 set. But a uh, great minifigure. And this is a new book mold where you have two pieces. But uh, yeah, the new Dobby's a great minifigure. Now we're going to get into my two Voldemorts. So I only have the Dimensions version and the 2018 version. Now, he did not come with this white wand, the new wand mold. He came with a short brown stick. Um, so, I just gave him the spare white wand I have from the collectible minifigure Voldemort back there. But, uh, the new white wand is awesome, and it only comes on the new Voldemort, which we'll take a look at on the next figure. But he has a pretty useful torso print. It's a pretty good torso print, and he has no leg printing, but he has the black cape. And he has this head with no, um, I guess, snake nostril printing. Um, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> he doesn't have a nose. And he doesn't have... He needs a manicure, and Harry needs some sleep, and... I don't know if you guys have seen that, but that was like a... A trailer spoof on the Deathly Hallows trailer from a long time ago. Um, that's hilarious. You need to check that out if you haven't seen it. Um, but yeah, Voldemort's a really cool minifigure. I was really happy to finally get him when I got the Dimensions team pack. But... Of course, we have the newest of Voldemort, which I got yesterday in the collectible minifigure series. And he has this more of this green attire. He does come with the white wand, which is the only figure in this new Harry Potter wave to have the wand mold in white. Um, he does kind of have a, a bonish type wand in actual or in the actual movie, so it's cool. Um, yeah, so he does have this kind of green color for his outfit. He has the slope piece, the slope dress, gown piece, whatever you want to call it and with some lines printed on it in the green. So, I remember they had a concept art um, outfit for Voldemort, which was green, so I don't know if this is based on a, a, like a, a design for the movies that was never made, but um, 
you can't really tell what color his outfit is. So that one was black. The one back there is like black with green lines, the Dimensions version. And this one's kind of going full on green. And he has the nose slits printed on, unlike the Dimensions version. I believe the 2011, 2010 one had the nose slits, but once again, I never got um, that version. And he does come with Nagini, which is this crazy new snake piece with um, a little bar at the back so you, um, you can have a minifigure hold it. Which does also come in the new $500 micro scale Hogwarts as the Basilisk, since it's a micro scale set. But this is a great new snake piece for Nagini. And uh, once again, Voldemort can hold Nagini by this um, bar at the tail. So it looks like he's kind of shooting the snake out. Ugh! But um, yeah, this is really it for this comparison of all my Voldemort minifigures um, and my Dobby minifigures. So. Uh, once again, I am going on holiday for two weeks tomorrow, so I will try and get out another comparison video later on today of m all three of my Harry Potter minifigures, all three of my Hermione minifigures, and, well, I have more, I have multiple versions of all of them from, like, the 2001 sets, but I'll just be comparing one version of them, so I'll be comparing my Harry Potter minifigures, my Hermione minifigures, and my Ron minifigures, so, yeah. But, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this comparison video of my two Voldemorts and my three Dobbies, and uh, yeah, I hope you guys have a great day. Take care.